right then, everybody. How we doing? My name's Mark Gill. This is Mark's on the Grill. Today, 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 uh, we're going to throw together all kinds of fun stuff with uh, what we brought out to make salmon a couple of ways. Uh, we're going to smoke it. First of all, we're going to do it with a little bit of brown sugar and maple syrup. Oh, yeah. Maple syrup's good stuff. You got to love that. And then uh, we're also going to do it uh, with, with our fish rub. You're also going to need there. Have a look there. Nice, um, uh, nice pieces of salmon. I love that. There we go. We got the four of those. Nice and big. This is just beautiful. I mean, holy moly. You want to talk about high quality stuff, boy. This is it. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slide the first one in here. This has room for, I think it's... I think it's six trays. That's fantastic. Uh, it's got a couple of probes built in up there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the salmon on the other side. And then that way, one isn't over the other. We'll get our maximum amount of smoke down there. That's very cool. Let's take some. Brussels sprouts like that, and they, they got them in the plastic bag. That's on purpose. So what I'm going to do in there is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of white wine, about two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and this is great stuff. Uh, this is balsamic fig vinegar. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So now let me go ahead and close that. We're just going to give this a little bit of a toss. There we go. And to keep them from rolling around, I halved them all. That way I don't have to clean up. I love the fact uh, that we're working with a Canadian company in this next little while here with one of their products. That's a lot of fun for me, I gotta tell you. So guys, that's one of the great things about having a cabinet uh, smoker like this is being able to stack, being able to pile up. This is just the best. So uh, uh, let's go ahead and let that uh, start heating up and keep heating up. Uh, and that's it, you guys. That's the first round. Well, well, well. So I got about an hour left on it. So this is a great time uh, for, for popping in appetizers. A little bit of brie goes a long way. Uh, uh, you know, you can put that in for anywhere from about an hour to two hours. Uh, these are honey roasted cashews, yum. And uh, uh, full disclosure, I got these little wrapped up guys at Costco and I'm praying that uh, 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 those are kind of cheap, cheap little strings of cheese. That way it won't melt too much and make too much of a mess on the inside of my machine. So we're gonna pop that in. We're gonna leave that at 150 for about another hour, okay? So I've asked the machine to smoke the entire time. So it's gonna smoke that whole two hours, which is really cool, all right? But what's great is, when I'm doing like a big brisket, when I'm doing a big uh, pulled pork and stuff like that, holy moly, I can tell it. I want it to smoke for 13 hours, or sorry, I want it to cook for 13 hours, but I only want it to smoke for that five, just to get that nice, clean, smoky flavor on it. Uh, one thing I did want to do, uh, I did want to put a little bit of garlic butter on that salmon. Kind of drizzle that over top. Perfect. I love that. Oh, that's the great thing about this uh, this rack. How handy is that? There we go. This rack holder. That's so cool. Now this is our uh, maple syrup and brown sugar salmon. Oh, I can't wait for that. So guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let everything in there stay for about another hour or so. Pick up all that smoke. Those. Uh, beautiful Brussels sprouts. Uh, that salmon is going to be fantastic. We're going to keep that at that 140 to 150 range and just let it kind of absorb that smoke just over that course of the two hours. Oh, that's going to be good. Alrighty, that's it. Part three. So with this guy, we went ahead and glazed it with some maple syrup. <laughs> some maple syrup and some brown sugar. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and take that off. Perfect. Oh, that's pretty good. Now this, we used our Marks on the Grill fish rub. You can use your favorite, whatever you love. There we go. We set this at about 225, just to get it rocking and rolling. Then I dropped it down to 150. And the reason I did that is I didn't want the, the fish to get much warmer than 150, all right? But I wanted to put a little more smoke on it. 
And because I've got that control built into it, it was really, really, really easy to do. There we go, a little brie, a little smoked nuts. We got some uh, meat wrapped cheese. Life just gets better and better and better. And then up top here, and this shouldn't be too hot to grab. There we go. We did some really beautiful Brussels sprouts with some white wine. There we go. And some Worcestershire sauce and some fig balsamic vinegar. That is just lovely. And what's cool about this, you guys, all of it done in the same machine, everything ready at the same time. So let's go ahead and have a peek. I really, really went nuts here and, and, and got the Ritz crackers really going to town. Look at this. Oh, perfect. It's just spreadable and ooey and gooey and yummy. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's pretty fantastic. And these guys, holy cow. Look at that thing. My my cream. Oh, that's nice. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. It is good this evening. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's just fantastic. Now the fish. Oh my goodness. Let's get into this. Now this guy is our oh, look at the color in that. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. And then over here, I mean look at that color. It just flakes right apart. That is perfectly done, you guys. That is just gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh yeah, okay. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. One of the big things that kind of got my interest peaked on this machine was that this is the promise of incredibly smoked, you know, perfect food without that smoke ring. Now hold on a sec. I know we've we've all been told our whole lives that smoke ring is the the badge of honor, the you know the 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 the, the fez on the cap, the whole nine yards. That means it's perfect barbecue. If you look a little deeper, what it means is when your wood turns to coal and ash, some of what gets released at that point because you're using wood as a heat source gets into the meat. So that red ring, it's kind of caused by that doesn't really affect the flavor. That's the story. That's the story I'm getting. So guys, uh, uh, we, we're, we're gonna go right to town with it. I have a nice, big, beautiful 18 or 19 pound brisket. It's gorgeous. We're gonna trim it up. We're gonna pop it in there. And we're gonna, get, we're gonna test that theory out, man, because this is gonna be like the first time in my life that I'm gonna cut into a brisket and I'm not gonna see a smoke ring. I'm like, hmm. So uh, check out that one. And it's cool because at 20 minutes a pop, I know exactly how much of my uh, like like usable material I'm gonna use. You know, when you start cranking temperatures up on a pellet grill or something like that, man, it's a race between the pellets and the food being done. You know what I'm saying? This guy here, because it's using electricity in a nice closed secure cabinet to keep that temperature steady, you can control exactly the amount of uh, smoke you put in there down to that 20 minutes, I love that. And then we're gonna take that brisket because we can't eat it all. <laughs> we'll have brisket. Uh and then uh, in the, over the next couple of days, we're going to take that brisket and we're just going to have some, just some fun with it. We're going to make some great big sandwiches and we're going to do some, uh, listen, I got to bring back the brisket poutine. That was a hit. I got to do that one. Absolutely. All right, guys, uh, we're going to go serve this up. Thanks for joining us today. We really, 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 really appreciate it. Uh, let us know where you're watching from. Leave your name and uh, where you're checking us out from. And if you have any questions about our recipe today, the Bradley Smoker, or anything else that we do on the show, by all means, please jot it down there and we will absolutely answer it for you. My name is Mark Gill. This has been Marks on the Grill. And